Good to see you. Let's warm up and review the basics. The basics again? Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Get in position. Show me how you chain ground attacks. you can redirect your next attack. Since you propel your opponent away with your last strike, that's the end of the chain. At close range, the sweep is good against smaller foes. You can also chain attacks afterwards. enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their feet. Make use of that. Perfect to cripple agile enemies. Remember that you move forward with each attack. If you want to keep your distance, the sweep allows you to maintain your position. This doesn't suit your style, but some situations might require you to take such precautions. Precautions? What precautions? Hmm. My point exactly. Do you remember what I told you about propelling enemies up in the air? An airborne enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their feet. <laughs> At least that got in your head. Let's go over your upward attacks. Use them to hit targets above you, but also to propel ground enemies in the air. Word of warning, using the same upward attack twice in a row will lessen its effectiveness. You can also use an upward attack in a fighting combination. Be sure you're within range to strike. through with your attacks lets you stay in the action. Remember, Rashaba. Even a constant wind can carve a mountain. Now then, the forward slide. It's a chance to engage with an offensive advantage.
closing the distance. That suits me. Now let's combine everything. Chase the enemy mid-air after your upward attack. Vary your upward attacks. The same one twice in a row will not give you the same propulsion. I understand. Now for a specialty of yours. Acrobatic techniques. Ready for the next lesson? I'm always ready. You know about mid-air combinations, but there are other options. Try to reach the flying enemy. 